Hello there, Simple Tips people. Um, today I'm going to be uh, quickly walking you through creating a form uh, and how you connect it up to your GoDaddy, uh, primarily with Office 365. If you are experiencing the issue where you have 365, you have a form on your website, but it's not sending, um, I'm going to cover this straight away. Go to your email configuration in your cPanel, then go to the MX entry area. And you'll find this is set to probably local mail exchanger. You need to change this to remote mail exchanger. Um, and all that does is that pushes you towards your 365 account rather than locally. Um, this video is going to cover pretty much all the steps. So creating your 365 account uh, to the Muse to upload in. First up, we're going to go in and create your... Office 365 account. So expand the email and office area, then choose your uh, office starter email, or if you've got a 365 business account already, um, should already be created. Then we're going to go down to uh, paulsbarbers.co.uk. Now, this warning is because under your DNS for Paul's Barbers, you have an MX record. Now, this MX record points to C name mail, or in this case, an A record. Um, and this points to your domain hosting. This is because essentially your hosting plan has an email client built in, so it's pre configured that MX record. So um, they're just warning you that sh if there was a previous configuration, then you this will be lost. So we're going to click no thanks. Now, username, we're just going to create, create a copy of uh, this temporary password. And we're going to send the account information to me. Perfect. So what this is going to do is now going to update that MX record that we've talked about. So we're going to continue to the dashboard. Um, and now we can see we've configured the hello at Paul's Barbers. Um, you should start to see... Um, the uh, DNS entries populate uh, so if you upgraded your entry account to uh, support Skype for Business um, and other services then you'll find that your DNS is already correctly configured so while we're waiting for that to complete I'm going to jump into Muse and we're going to chuck in a quick form simple contact to be fine I'm not going to do anything fancy just want you to be able to see and it's literally just as simple as emailing hello at paulsbarbers.co.uk and that's it so we're going to save this then we're going to upload I'm uploading to a testing ground we're going to go all files, OK. Right, OK, that's fully uploaded. So we'll go down to our form. Before we fill this out, we need to make sure our DNS entries have updated. So we're going to just take a quick look at this. Uh, MX, no, this is still pointing locally. Uh, so we'll go back to our email. Okay, so as you can see here, there's something something's gone wrong. So let's click let's fix this. Right, okay, this is just warning us again. La -de -la -de -da. We want to switch. That's fine. So again, this is just because we have an existing MX records. It doesn't want to overwrite them. So we've had two layers now of warning. Um, so if we've killed previous existing accounts, then it's totally our fault. Um, or your fault. <laughs> So we refresh this. Hopefully, we should start to see some changes happening. Okay, so we've got our Skype entries now. So our MX should now be perfect. So that's pointing to Office 365. So we should be able to log into this now. Um, so we're going to launch it for Paul's Barbers. We're going to use our e password that was was provided. I'm not sure if them spaces should be there, but let's find out. 
they should have been less unusual. Let's just update that. Okay, so we're just going to go through the uh, initial setup. Bang, 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 bang. La da da da. Going to click on Mal. Time zone. Uh, we're at zero, zero. Okay, we're logged into Outlook. Um, as you can see, we've got no, well, we do have email, but it's hidden because focus mailbox is enabled. I'd turn that off personally, but um, anyway. So we're now gonna go back to our domain. Let's just refresh this just for good measure. And let's try and send us Hest email. And submit. So apparently, obviously, Muse is default response is form received. I'd usually change this to if you don't hear anything, please contact me. Um, and we're going to go to our mailbox. We're going to give that a little refresh. Okay, so I don't seem to be receiving any emails. So let's check our MX entry. And you find here that it's still trying to use the local server. So we're going to change this to remote mail server. I'm going to hit change. That can take a little while to update. Um, but I'm hoping because it's quite a minor website, it should pick up immediately. So we're going to test this again. Here. There we go. Submit. Jump back into our email, give that a little refresh. Okay, it still doesn't seem to be there. My guess is um, the exchange is, yeah, it's adding it to the, the spam. Here we go. So, it failed our full detection checks. So, I would suggest chucking this email. Once we're in settings, we're going to go down to um, block or allow. We're going to go don't move anything into our junk mail. We're going to save that. So we should be good. While I'm in here, I'm going to turn off focus inbox. Don't sort my messages because that is terrible. We're going to back out. Uh, it probably doesn't solve the issue for this email, but if we do a test to... And submit. Okay, so apparently that's been received. Let's give this a refresh. Wee, okay, so it took a little bit of time. It took a minute to come through. Uh, but you do have the initial. You do actually have the sent time stored in there. Uh, so as you can see, sent two. So there we are. Up and running from the, the, from the email submission in Muse. All the way through to the MX records on GoDaddy. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, leave a message or email me. Thank you very much. Goodbye.